Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And uh, I've been out here working in the shop today a little bit. And uh, I took a bicycle ride with my wife earlier today. Went uptown, paid our water and sewer bill, and came back home again. Got a little exercise in. And uh, what I've been working on, as you can see, the frame is tipped upside down. And uh, no, I don't have my fluid drag head on. Uh, you can see the frame is upside down still. This is the bottom side. And we have our drive line uh, as far as the primary drive line from the transfer case is what we're going to call it, the 90 degree transfer. From here to there, which is the bottom of the transmission. And uh, I have accomplished the goal that I set out to do. As you can see, everything is underneath, up inside the frame. So there'll be nothing hanging down below. And that's exactly what I wanted. And uh, this pulley here, um, that will take up the slack. And this is the belt I'm going to use for now. It's in pretty good shape. It's a used one, but it's in decent shape. And I took off the original pulley, which was a little bit better, and opted for this one here, which is not a whole lot bigger than our clutch. This is the centrifugal clutch down here. Um, my thinking is that I don't want to be trying to uh, speed things up going through the transmission, but I'll do the speeding up coming out the other side of the transmission by sizing sprockets from there back to the rear end. So that's what it looks like on the bottom end. And uh, this plate here is all welded in. It's only tacked in. It's got three tacks on each side and a couple in here. Um, and there's a spacer washer under here to get this to line up properly with our two pulleys. So uh, I'll flip it over and show you what's going on on top. As you can see, not much has changed up here once it's all together, but everything is bolted down now. And uh, I'm going to have to uh, make sure I don't forget to finish uh, trimming this pulley off here because uh, when it turns, sometimes it's very, very close to the housing. That's not too bad right now, I guess. I've got only two bolts in the motor just uh, getting it located where it's going to go. Yeah, I think it's going to work. And uh, obviously I will also have to put a... Um, the motor is going to turn in this direction counterclockwise, looking at it from this side. So it'll be pulling tight here, so I will have to put a, a pulley, uh, an idler pulley here because um, I don't want to go any smaller on the belt than it is. Um, this is not the belt I'm going to use. It's going to be fatter, but I'll probably get one about the same length. And uh, I will make a mount and mount a pulley up in here somewhere. Either mount it from here up or from on the motor across, sticking out. Um, let's see if I got one down here. Just to give you an idea. Yeah, something, something on that idea anyway. You know, just an idler pulley, nothing fancy. And actually, this one can be, uh, this one can be spring loaded. So, I don't know if that's the one I'll use, or, but just to give you an idea what I'm talking about. So that's that, and uh, I got some other pieces coming together, and my next update I'll have some news, more news about our front end. Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching. Bye now.